All right, guys, today we're gonna make a nice colorful sympathy arrangement for somebody. We'll make it nice and big. They wanted it bright. So we're gonna do that for them. I'm gonna add some different greens. This is leather. Leather is a nice green to use. You can always put more expensive greens on top of it, but this is a good base and everybody greens different. Once we're done with this, we're gonna change out the water too because the greens, when they come in, they're kinda, kinda dusty. Excuse our old table here. These work tables have had miles and miles of use. You could just keep going and adding until your um, your vase is full, because basically you want kind of want this to be like a pin board. So when you stick in your flowers, your flowers stay. You don't you don't want your greens loose where the flowers flop around. Grab some lemon. get any of the greens that have brown on them you want to pull that off or anything that doesn't look nice because once you spray these they're going to kind of look wax like and you want it to you want it to have a real shiny nice clean appearance so this i want it to look kind of matte still so i'm going to go ahead and spray these greens before i put those in And again, they wanted this really bright, really bright and colorful to cheer somebody up after the loss of a loved one. Um, we're going to use leaf shine right now to shine these greens. And some other type of greens. We're going to add. We'll come back and add a necklace or collar later to have some greens around once we uh, once we complete the arrangement. So we're gonna start in the back of this with the taller flowers. We have some delphinium, we have some larkspur. We have a truck coming in a little bit, a wholesale truck. So, a lot of people have never been or seen wholesale flowers. If you're in flower school, you probably haven't seen it, but once you start working in a flower shop, you're gonna deal with the wholesalers a lot. So I'll take you guys into the wholesale truck when they come, show you a bunch of different flowers. Let me get these tall ones out of here. 
Okay, so you wanna, when you're measuring your flowers, you wanna measure where you want them and you wanna cut at the table. Cause then when you put it in the vase, it's gonna be the perfect length. And you want, you want your flowers to go uh, down in the water. Whatever extra comes on these leaves that don't look right, sometimes get rid of it because you don't want that in your arrangement. You want your arrangement to be super nice when it gets to the customer. See, this one has it too, some extra. Let's get rid of all that. Keep the stems clean because the more stuff that's in the stems, it goes down in the water, it's gonna make the water fill with bacteria uh, faster. And we, don't, we don't want that. These are okay, these look nice. So we wanna keep these, we wanna keep these in the arrangement. it back so far what we got going on I oh I added some tea leaf too that tall that big leaf was it's called tea leaf so we added some of that I have had a bunch of people get a hold of me asking about being a florist and I'm gonna be honest with you guys it's a lot of hard work so if you are not somebody that wants to work like that this is most definitely not the job for you because the cutesy part of making the flowers is the least of it like you're carrying around heavy buckets of water cleaning out the cooler a lot of lifting struggling with that so is there is a lot of um, physical labor it did it did the flowers do not come in cleaned we have to do all that ourselves, as you've seen in the other videos so this hydrangea right here they want purple so I'm gonna go ahead and tint this real quick with some spray tint and we want to kind of keep it away Get the leaves out of the way so I don't get tint on them. Oh, see, there's a couple of bad leaves we got to get rid of. Yes. What about it? Something about the value. Did they send over a price change? So we want it to kind of look airbrushed. We don't want just like a heavy spray paint kind of look. We want it to look as natural as possible. This down in the front right here. Actually, no. I want this off to the side a little bit. Yeah. What city is it going to? Yeah. Actually, no, it needs to go in the morning. Actually, we can't. We have to go in the morning. Okay, so now we are going to add. Oops. Taking the guard petals off of our roses. We don't want to ever leave those on. Okay, let's add some roses in here. Just a few. Give it some color. We want this bright. He said he'll contact us in the morning. Okay. Here's some, these are spray roses. 
So this is a really bright, nice color too. We're gonna add some of these down in here. This is also like a nice mix for somebody. This doesn't have to be a sympathy arrangement. This is good for any occasion. Any girl would like to have this. Add another one of these. Can you give me some tiger lilies? Okay, so we are going to add some tiger lilies, which are bright orange down out here on the floor by the cooler thank you and then we're sending this up to the mountains once we're done with that oh here's one more that's up this since we have it out I'm not so peppy today, you guys. I have a bad headache. I had a stressful day yesterday. Okay. Oh, yeah, look how pretty. Okay. These, inside the lily, you want to clean these out. You don't want to leave those in there. That's going to drop lily dust all over the lilies, and it's just going to make it look ugly you want to take clean them okay hold on one second Let me have this. i'm going to cut that center piece out because i don't want it to show it's a very pretty lilies i feel like lilies are the hardest thing to work with lilies they are well they bruise really easy you got to be careful not to touch the lilies the petals on the lilies and you also want to put the lilies in last when you make an arrangement because they bruise really easy and uh you don't want to bruise them so by the time they get to the customer they're just all tore up and creased looking and once i have the lilies in I don't like to mess with the arrangement a lot. Like I said, I don't I don't want to bend these. I don't want to. Back though, I do want to add one more. It's kind of a hole right here I want to fill in. Let me tuck this down in here very carefully not to touch these lilies. I fill in our hole. Alrighty, there is a bright, nice arrangement. For a customer, very beautiful. We're going to be posting a bunch of um, arrangements that we make today and tomorrow. Tuck this guy back here. Alrighty, there you go. All right, guys, thanks for watching.